Hi, this is Alan from the Data Dog Solutions team. In the first part of this short video series, we looked at how to use log patterns to identify parsing rules and generate metrics from logs. In this second part, I'll be sharing with you a tip on how to use patterns to drive log exclusion filters, which can be very useful from a cost savings perspective as it will reduce the amount of logs that are retained by Datadog. This feature is most useful when you have identified certain types of logs which are producing little or no value. First of all, I want to identify the highest volume log patterns as follows within the UI. I go to the Log Explorer and I click on Patterns. At this point, I'm going to concentrate and focus on .NET logs. So I click on .NET Facet and I can see all the different patterns occurring within the .NET. There is a particular pattern here, um, Executed Action Data Dog, and it has occurred 6.8 thousand times. So approximately 10% of samples here are occurring. This is the one which I'm going to exclude. So very easy to do it. Click on it and then click on view all and it will show me all occurrences of this particular log type. You can see up the top of the search bar, it has conveniently included the search query. If I want to change the search query to textual format, I can just click on the arrows here. Highlight the search and copy it to my clipboard. Okay, so now that I have the search, I can go into the Daydog log configuration page and I can configure the exclusion filter there. So here I am within the indexes of the Daydog log configuration page. And I'm going to configure an exclusion filter here in my index, the demo index. You can see there are already many exclusions created. If I want to add a new one, I simply go down to the bottom and I click on add an exclusion filter. First of all, I give the filter a name. So let's call it filter.netlogs. Then I simply paste in the search query, which I copied from the previous page. And then lastly, I set an exclusion percentage. So do I want to exclude 10% of these logs, maybe 20% or maybe 50%? I'm going to leave it at excluding 100%. Then simply click on save. You can see it's been entered in at the bottom of the exclusion filter list here. Okay, so it's all been done. So what has happened? Well, in this example, I've excluded a particular .NET log type uh, based on an executed action text uh, file. In this scenario, the log has actually given me some duplicate, in duplicate information which is not needed. Removing any high volume logging patterns similar to this one from Log Explorer will help you drill down and identify issues quicker. Wherever these logs are only removed from the Log, log Explorer view, they will still be ingested, indexed, and available to view in live tail. They'll also be sent to the archives and used to generate metrics. Okay, great, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this series. Enjoy your data dog.